Today, let's take a look at Tom Selleck's life and his rich lifestyle. How much is Tom Selleck worth? How does Tom Selleck spend his millions? Does Selleck have a car collection? Stick around to the end. We'll tell you all you need to know. Let's first look at Tom Selleck's life. So Tom Selleck is an actor and film producer. He is fondly remembered for his role as the private investigator Thomas Magnum in the TV series Magnum P.I. During his long career, he appeared in a variety of TV shows and films, from the hit TV show Friends to the procedural drama Blue Bloods. Over the course of his career, it is estimated that he amassed a fortune of around $50 million. Now let's quickly take a look at his background. Who was Tom Selleck before he became a male icon with a signature mustache. Selleck was born in 1945 in Michigan to Robert Dean Selleck and Martha Selleck. Both his parents were of English descent, but his father also had German roots. In 1948, his family moved to Sherman Oaks, California. Selleck is around 6 foot 4 inches tall. He used to play basketball during his time at the University of Southern California and was a member of the USC Trojans men's basketball team. At that time, it seems like he had no intention of becoming an actor and was instead majoring in business administration. A drama coach suggested he try acting, and in his senior year, he dropped out of the university. Selleck then went on to study acting at the Beverly Hills Playhouse under Milton Casillas. Now, let's look at how Tom Selleck makes his money and how much he's worth. At present, he appears in the procedural drama Blue Bloods. He gets paid around $200,000 for every episode of Blue Bloods, and the show has been renewed for its 13th season. So you can imagine how lucrative a gig it is. It is estimated that he earns more than $5 million for each season of Blue Bloods. During his time as Thomas Sullivan Magnum IV in the crime drama series Magnum P.I., he used to earn around $500,000 per episode towards the later seasons. Now that was back in the 80s, so if we adjust for inflation, we could say he was earning around $1.5 million per episode. Apart from his films and TV shows, Tom also earns well well from his endorsement deals and various investments. At one point in time, he was a minority stakeholder of the Detroit Tigers. Now let's talk about his endorsements. So Selleck's macho personality has been the dream for many advertisers. He appeared in an ad for Dodge Charger Daytona a few years ago. In addition, he has appeared in commercials for Close Up Toothpaste, Right Guard Deodorant, and Debonet. He also appeared in commercials for cigarette companies back in the day. He appeared as the Marlboro Man. In addition, he was the face of Salem cigarettes. Now let's look at Tom Selleck's lifestyle. By celebrity standards, Tom Selleck can be dubbed a recluse. Not like there's something wrong with that. 2021, when he was spotted running errands near his Los Angeles neighborhood, media outlets noted that it was the first time they were seeing him in public since 2019. Selleck stated in an interview that he found it difficult to expose his private life. He had learned his lesson in dealing with fame in the past. Though Selleck may wear dapper suits while walking down the red carpet, when he goes about his daily life, he's usually seen wearing a baggy t-shirt, shorts, and sneakers. It's not like the big guy can't rock a pair of shorts. Now let's look at his hobbies. So Selleck enjoys the outdoors. He's also a shooter and a member of the National Rifle Association. He's also into sports like volleyball, basketball, and hockey. He has been seen attending LA Kings games at Staples Center several times. In relation to hockey, he stated that his two all-time favorite hockey hockey players are Andrzej Kopitar and Alexander Farley. Similarly, his favorite baseball team is the Detroit Tigers. Now let's talk about Tom Selleck's married life. In 1971, Tom Selleck married a model named Jacqueline Ray and adopted her son after the marriage. But after 11 years of staying together, they divorced in 1982. Selleck was pretty broken up after his divorce. The Magnum P.I. cast and crew took him to see a production of Cats when they were filming in London. Selleck loved the production and went back over a dozen times to rewatch it. He then developed an infatuation for actor Jilly Joan Mack, who was in the cast of the play. Now by this time, Tom Selleck had a lot of star power and had a say in many of the creative decisions in Magnum P.I., so he ensured that Jilly Mack was cast in the episode titled Rembrandt's Girl. In 1987, they got married in a secret ceremony. They used the nicknames Tom Jenkins and Susie Mark, and their marriage took place in a 24 
24-hour wedding chapel in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Selleck even made sure that only Polaroid photos would be taken so the negatives would not be leaked. After they had a child, the family decided to move to Ventura, California and make a 65-acre ranch their new home. More on this ranch later. Now let us take a look at the properties that Selleck owns. So we know that back in 1993, he purchased a home in Hawaii. In 2001, he sold that home for around $2.48 million. Media reports tell us that Selleck also has an apartment in Los Angeles. However, we don't know whether the star still owns the 1,800 square foot condo to this day. In 1988, he purchased a ranch in Ventura, California in order to lead a quieter life his family. This ranch cost him over $5 million. The ranch used to be a working avocado farm, but the plants were decimated by drought. Selleck says that he does grunt work at his ranch and enjoys making the rounds. He loves to watch things grow, so for him, the ranch was a family home and a retreat. At present, the farm has over 1,500 trees and plants. Recently, during California's drought, he was sued by the Caleguas Municipal Water District for allegedly improperly transferring approximately 1.4 million gallons of water. It was alleged that he used that water to water his farm. He settled this lawsuit and avoided admitting to any fault or wrongdoing. Next up, let's look at Tom Selleck's collection of vehicles. So Selleck loves cars, and he buys cars that suit his macho personality. It is no wonder that he's a Ferrari fan. First, let's look at the cars he drove in Magnum PI. In Magnum PI, he drives a red Ferrari 308 GTS Quattrovavole. This car had to be specifically modified to accommodate Selleck, who stands 6 feet and 4 inches tall. The padding was removed from the seats, so he could sit lower in the car. The seats were bolted as far away from the steering wheel as possible to maximize the legroom. During the 18-year run of Magnum PI, CBS used around 15 Ferraris. The models of the Ferrari 308 GTS, released in 1978, 1980, and 1984, were used in the show. Ferrari North America provided CBS with the vehicles, reclaimed them once they were done with filming to repaint and sell to new owners. In 2017, one of these Ferraris was purchased by an unidentified buyer in Scottsdale, Arizona for around $181,000. This car was certified to have been driven by Selleck himself during the 1984-85 to season of Magnum P.I. Another one of these cars was auctioned for over $260,000. Back in the 80s, Selleck used to drive a Porsche 928. Further, the Porsche 928 was originally going to be the car used in Magnum P.I. However, that idea was scrapped since in the Ferrari 308, the top comes off and you can see the star driving during scenes. Selleck bought Porsche 928s for the members of the main cast of Magnum P.I. after a few seasons. In addition, during interviews, he stated that he likes to drive the Ferrari Mondial. Back in the 90s, Tom Selleck used to own a 1928 Bentley 4-liter Le Mans Touré. Owing to Selleck's busy schedule, the Bentley saw minimal use, and it had only traveled some 1,215 miles since he purchased it. In 1999, this car was auctioned for around $211,000. In 2014, Selleck purchased a BMW M5. It is also said that he owns several other automobiles, such as a BMW W128 Ti. He also has been spotted in several pickup trucks. Next, let's look at some of Tom Selleck's charitable works. So Selleck may be known for portraying tough, badass characters on screen, but he is a kind-hearted person in real life. He has donated money on numerous occasions to people in need. He supports causes that seek to provide better health care and end hunger and poverty. He served as an honorary chair of the Skin Cancer Foundation and official spokesperson for the Los Angeles Mission. He has also participated in New York City's student-sponsored partnership program. And that's a wrap. So Tom Selleck is a wealthy actor who leads an intensely private life. He doesn't flaunt his wealth, but makes good use of his earnings. What do you think of Tom Selleck's lifestyle? Do you think he will continue acting after season 13 of Blue Bloods? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.